Welcome back, everyone. And I do mean everyone. It's Forgotten Circus. So you remember when Netflix, a long time ago, Galaxy Far Away, announced that they were going to come out with a Witch, Witcher TV series? I mean, the popular game, the books, everybody was in awe. They were like, what's it going to look like? What's it going to be like? And then they casted Henry Cavill, and you're like, oh, they're going all in. Yeah, that was in season one and a little bit of season two. And then eventually they made The Witcher, the show, Netflix, you know, because woke agendas yet again. I don't know why woke is still a thing. Can we can we break this wheel? You know, then they announced that, you know, uh, we're going to be uh, he's going to have a lesser role. We're going to have Princess Cirilla and Yennefer come to the forefront a little bit. You know, strong female characters. I, I, I like both of them. I think they were great in the show. It's not. It's not their fault that uh, lazy writing, wokeness, and uh, bad marketing of a product, which is from endless video games and endless books. And then we found out there was trouble behind the scenes with like Henry Cavill. You know, they were saying, oh, he's normally you would think he was like rude on the set, run around like he's the best thing ever. You know, I'm Henry Cavill. No, their excuse was basically they were frustrated with him because they wanted him to stick to, they wanted him to stick to what they were writing and not to the lore, which it, it that puzzles me. Wouldn't you want an actor on set? Be like, no, 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 wait, wait. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes here, but by the lore, it would go this way. Trust me, it's going to work. Because that's what people are looking for. That's what people know, you know. But they wanted to go with their creative woke stuff. So if you notice throughout the season, the first season of The Witcher was great. Second season was it was, it was okay. But you could see how they slowly kept moving the character of Geralt to the background. And putting everybody else. The show's called The Witcher Netflix. We want to see The Witcher, you know. We saw the other witchers. You gave us a tease with all the other witchers in those episodes. and But it 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 became the Princess Cirilla and Yennefer show. And then you choose to move on from Henry Cavill. Whether he left the show. I mean, it could. I mean, both sides are saying different things. But you lost a good one. Because this guy, you lost a good one. But it's all right, Henry Cavill. You got other things going on. Uh, Warhammer 30K is going to probably take up a lot of your time. I mean, you got the Ungentlemanly Like Warfare movie coming out. You just did Argyle. Yeah, he he's got plenty of stuff going on. Who knows what he's and I, Marvel looking at him too. And I know he's been rumored to be in um in uh, the new Deadpool as a Wolverine variant. Okay, so Henry's going to be fine. But the Witcher series is not going to be fine. And then you find out they casted other Hemsworth. You know, the 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 other Hemsworth, most popular, being married to uh, Miley Cyrus at one point in time. Um, I like, I look, all right, I know acting is a hard thing, but he is not on the same level as his brother in any way. And he's not on the same level as Henry Cavill. How are you going to do the grunt? I want to hear him do the grunt now. He's going to be, uh, 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 because you know how um, Geralt always, Geralt Ruby always like grunts. He does like some weird grunts all the time, you know. Uh, like I, I just don't. The only way I could see, and it's sad to say this, but the only way I could see this would work, replacing Henry Cavill as The Witcher, if you use Chris Hemsworth, you know the Hemsworth. You know, the guy that survives Australia is in every movie. Like, it, he, let's be honest with you. Chris Hemsworth, he's that good that he made Extraction fire. Because you put anybody else in that movie. Extraction was a great movie. Extraction, Extraction 2, great movies. But if you put anybody in that, could they pull it off like Chris Hemsworth? Probably not. So, it's like uh, he's almost riding his brother's coattails. And I don't want to talk that much track i just think it was a terrible choice i think they should just can the show just can it because we already saw where you're going and that's the thing with netflix they just 
push out product, they just keep pushing out product, push out product. That 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 is their uh, algorithm or their strategy. But you had so much in The Witcher, and you guys you fumbled the bag, literally did. You had so much. Like after that first season, everybody was excited about the second season. You seen it, was like all right, all right, we're gonna get a little bit more. Second season wasn't as good as the first season, but we're gonna get a little bit more. And then you just totally take him out of it, the equation. Like he's there, but he's like not there. It's so weird. And you could tell that you could tell on Henry, like with his acting and the frustrations and stuff, you could tell it started to show in his acting on the show. To no fault of his own. I'm pretty sure the writers there were friggin' terrible to work with because they're working for that corporate conglomerate. And you're a lore guy, a big time gamer. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was painful for you. So I do understand that. But you cast Liam. Hems- so how's this going to be? So I know they've cast a lot of people like Grindelwald. They've cast people in other, um, like, ro- uh, main one that everybody likes to go to is usually Rhodey. You know, they, Terrence Howard, and then, you know, they replaced re- Terrence Howard, and they replaced him with, uh, Jesus, why am I forgetting his name? You know what I'm talking about. But those were actors that you kind of <sighs> Grindelwald didn't work either. I don't know but sometimes when you recast sometimes it works most of the time it doesn't when a recast it really doesn't especially when you're not even fully into the story that much like you could have got a couple more seasons where you could got fully into it. Now you're just totally replacing that. You got to get new chem- chemistry between the actors and the actresses with the new main act. If he is the main lead, you know what? That's how they're going to do because they were probably so frustrated with Henry. Cam- Watch, they're going to put Liam Hemsworth in like every single scene. I already know. They're going to just try and force feed you that. But it, I, I really feel like it's going to be epic fail. I'm going to watch it and do. My my take on the whole thing and the difference between Henry Cavill's Witcher and Liam Hemsworth's Witcher, I'm pretty sure we're going to have some fun with that. And I'm pretty sure this is one of those things, uh, yeah, we would have been okay. Now, it hurt that Henry left. And it hurt that Henry left as Superman. To no fault of his own. But we would have been okay to end the Witcher off with that last season. I, I really think everybody would. But no, you want everybody uh, to, you know, let's hear the new guy. We got, that's that's what it's going to feel like. It's like, oh, the new guy. You know? But I'll give everybody a chance. Maybe this may be the one that Liam Hemsworth skyrockets to his potential stardom. You know? Because let's be honest. I mean, is Liam Hemsworth really a, a list? Actor? B? Borderline? He's, and I pr- I'm pretty sure he's heard it all his life, too. Chris has probably always been, because remember, Chris beat him out to play Thor. They wanted him to play Thor at first, and then they, they went there and they did some sneaky stuff, Marvel. <laughs> That's sneaky, putting brothers against each other. But they they were joking and said it was all in good fun. You know, they're very competitive but uh, that's pretty dirty, you know. So he lost out on Thor, and then Chris Hemsworth, the older brother, took over again. So I don't know how this is going to work. I just don't. And you know, I I don't I don't want him to be put in a position where he has to try too hard to act, try too hard to be exactly like Henry Cavill's version of Geralt of Rivia. It's going to be a hard one. I don't. I don't think this is going to be successful at all. I think after this one, if you, if the ratings are down and viewerships are down, um, the the viewing is down. Just just end it. We we were okay with we we know that he's moved on. Henry Cavill's moved on, and we have plenty more to watch from Henry Henry Cavill. But he gave us that first season and the second season was, yeah. But that's Netflix for you. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. I want everyone to subscribe. It just takes one little click. I've got plenty of content coming out, so I do need to do some Fallout stuff, too, because Fallout is amazing. 
it's really good. It's a really good game at adaptation. I had fun with it. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, maybe the Borderlands movie is going to be pretty dope. I don't know. A lot of people don't like certain things about it, but sometimes uh, people can make it work. But anyway, talk too much. Like, comment, and subscribe on Forgotten Circus, and I want everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone.